Hi guys and welcome to Hyper Production with me Rory. In this episode we're going to be looking at the brand new features that come with the Logic Pro 10.3.2 update. So let's get to it. The most noticeable feature in this new 10.3.2 update is the addition of three brand new percussion drummers. You will also notice that the drummer selection has now been moved to the main library on the left hand side. Another cool feature added to the drummer is if you hover next to the loop and click this plus button, you will then be able to extend multiple loops and add as many as you want. All the loops are now available within the loop window to the right of the screen alongside all the other Apple loops available within Logic. When you first download the update, these should show up as green to indicate that they are MIDI files. Simply go to Logic, Sound Library and continue to install the remainder of the additional sounds. This will then change all the current green icons to then yellow ones to further indicate that they belong to the drummer loops. Another great feature of this 10.3.2 update is the ability to transpose audio regions. This can be achieved easily via the drop down menu from regions on the left hand side. Using this feature will enable you to transpose up three octaves and down three octaves. As well as transposing by octaves, there is also a fine tune option to really hone in on that tuning. There is also now an option to reset all flex edits. Prior to this update, when selecting new instruments, Logic always used to pre-assign effects channels to bus 1 and 2. This can now be changed within the Logic Preferences menu. Simply head to Logic, Preferences, Audio and then switch over to the General tab and under Menu tab Auto Bus Assignment Uses, simply tell Logic which bus channels it can only use above. And as you can see, if we choose buses above 24, Logic will then predetermine the bus sense to automatically be 24 and above. Another great feature from this update is when in dual mono mode, the channel EQ now allows you to split left and right, as well as couple to link the two channels together. You can visually see when we switch between the left and the right channels, it will then display the cuts and boosts we've made to each particular channel. When we then switch on the couple mode, we can then place boosts and cuts that will affect both left and right channels. When clicking the settings icon, it will then give us a choice between stereo and mid-side processing. Mid-side processing will enable us to process either the mono information or the stereo field. Before the update, to close all plug-in windows, you would have to individually click X on each one. Within this update, this is no longer the case, and if you hold down Shift and click X, they will all disappear at once. This is extremely helpful for speeding up your workflow. The Arpeggiator MIDI Effects plugin now allows you to choose the note length within the Grid option of the plugin. Simply click on Grid, then when you click and drag each individual grid step, it will then drag to the particular note length you desire. 
running from quarter notes to whole notes. As well as these visual additional features within the update, there has been plenty of stability issues fixed as well, such as random crashing from opening plugins or selecting a new drummer patch when the drummer editor window is open. Hi guys, thank you for watching. If you want to find out more, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in any comment section of any of our videos and we'll make sure we'll get back to you. Also, if you have any suggestions of future videos, then please don't forget to ask as well. If you want to find out more about the latest of our website, then please go and join us at www.hyperproduction.com.